Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Al. Uh, out here in the garden at my in-laws today, just checking on our seedlings. So as you re may remember, I uh, planted these with uh, my wife just one week ago. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys that a bunch of things are already uh, sprouting and coming up. So you got a couple of the, uh, looks like squash or some kind of, um, uh, Maybe melon or might be the zucchinis that we planted, I'm not sure. Got a little green thing sprouting there too, I don't know what that is. Might be, uh, I don't think we planted cucumbers, but I don't even know. Might be weeds too, who knows. Uh, got what looks like a little tomato plant going over there, starting there. Got a few things coming out pretty soon over there. Another little thing in the back, probably a tomato. So uh, it's looking pretty good. Got a couple of different things. I'm pretty sure that's a weed over there, but uh, yeah, just uh, wanted to share it with you guys and I'll do a little update in maybe another week. Uh, this should hopefully be full of little sprouted plants. So this is one week later, we got some things already coming out and we'll see what another week gives us. So I'm out here in a little bit of drizzle, but uh, the plants are doing great. Another week has gone by and uh, we have seen tremendous growth here. So it's really good. You can see the basil coming out in the back. I recognize that. I think that might be a marigold, but I'm not sure. Might be a weed. I think it's a marigold. That one over there. Uh, I've got a bunch of tomatoes here. Looks like um, maybe some peppers as well thrown in here. I think this might be another marigold here. Those just uh, did a bit of self-seeding, I think, because I didn't actually plant those intentionally. We also have more uh, tomatoes in here. Uh, these might be zucchinis or squash. I am always terrible at those. I don't know which one is which. I think these might be zucchinis. Uh, these are squash and some other kinds of squash. Some more tomatoes here. Uh, lots of stuff coming up. Uh, got some more things that haven't really sprouted yet or are just starting like in there. But uh, everything's looking great. Really happy. So uh, yeah, we'll give it another week and then I'll end the video and show it to you guys. We'll probably be ready to plant things out in another week at this rate. We will see. I'll get these covered up for now because uh, it's getting to be the end of the day here and uh, I don't want them to get too cold, especially with the rain coming in. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so it's about a month later from when we first planted the seeds. I think it's one month and a day later. And uh, you can see we've got quite a few things growing really nicely. Uh, got a bunch of weeding that I should be doing as well, which is kind of funny. but. Uh, yeah, I gotta pull some weeds. I uh, haven't really been doing much besides just watering it. And actually really it's been the missus watering it. Um, I don't think anything really come, came out of these uh, batches here. I think maybe the seeds were bad. Those are just weeds that have come up there. And uh, got um, some decent stuff out of the rest of it. So we got some basil in the back. Got a lot of the peppers and tomatoes and stuff growing out of here. Got some of the uh, squash and various uh, um, uh, zucchinis and things like that have come up as well so those are looking good and then we have dill in this one uh, but what I didn't uh, think of is that I reused uh, some of the soil that was in these pots from last year and uh, it looks like we got a bunch of self seeded marigolds so we have just tons of marigolds uh, in pretty much almost all of the pots it seems like that had any of the uh, the reused kind of soil like this so uh, yeah I'm gonna end the video here and uh, you know, hopefully it's not too late. Uh, we definitely started them later than I had hoped, but uh, I'm still hopeful that we will get some harvest out of these uh, various plants uh, this year. So we're gonna probably be taking the next week to, uh, you know, transplant a lot of these things out and, uh, you know, grow them in, in various other uh, locations in the garden. And uh, some of these things will leave in the pots. Some of them will be planted out. So that's it. And uh, just real quick to end, I'm going to also show you guys the progress on my daughter's uh, peas that she planted. So uh, that's what it's looking like right now. Um, everything's kind of starting to go up the, uh, the trellis here. It's looking pretty good. So that's that. So anyway, I um, want to encourage everybody, if you miss this growing season, uh, don't worry. Get some fruit bushes, some fruit trees if you can. Uh, it's never too late to start something and uh, maybe start planning or start learning about something that you can do and grow in your own uh, You know in your own yard. I always tell people to grow some food instead of growing lawn So uh, if you can start gardening and I uh, hope everybody's doing well and enjoying the summer 
We are definitely into summer now. Uh, it's getting into really high temperatures, very strong sunshine. We're in like the low to mid 20s uh, centigrade. So, you know, getting into like 70s uh, Fahrenheit uh, here. So it's getting, getting to be pretty warm. Certainly starting to think about beach weather now. <laughs> All right, everybody have a good one and see you in another video soon. Bye.